Hello everybody, welcome to system test number six, series five. This is a requested system test this time. Let's go ahead and get started. Up here we have the system sensor P2RL set to 15 Candela doing system sensor sync code three as requested by the requester. And for the second notification appliance, we have the Gentex Commander 3 set on high volume, code three horn. This is just doing two-wire operation, so there will be no audible silence on the Commander 3. Down here for the first conventional pull station, the requester requested the, B the Notifier BNG-1. And if you look up here to the two-wire smoke detector, I'll show you what some a new change that I did. You see this conduit, it's going down. You notice there's a strap here now, and this there's now an offset right here so if we come down here coming down like this it'll lead down to the second conventional pull station and i've installed a new stopper cover over this pull station and i think this looks much better than it used to i mean the conduit used to go straight down and right there but the box was not secure, so I just decided to redo it. And I actually knew how to bend conduit, bend conduit now. And this actually looks much better than what it used to. But anyways, the requester requested the Johnson Controls JBG-12L for the second conventional pool station. Attention to all occupants in the building. We will be testing the fire alarm system at this time. Please disregard all audible and visual signals until further notice. There's no need to evacuate. This is only a test. Please disregard all audible and visual signals until further notice. Thank you. And so what we're going to do first is we're going to start up here today, and we will start by activating the two-wire conventional smoke detector, which is the Hochiki SLR835B2W. And we will be activating it with Smoke Saber, since we have not done this on video with the notifier system yet. So, let's get to it. And now we're just going to hit system reset. Okay, now we are going to activate the system again, and we are going to activate the Johnson Controls JBG-12L underneath the stopper. So, let's go ahead and get to it. Lift and pull.
And if you look up here, we got two wire audible silence on the System Sensor L series, but not on the Commander 3 because it's just on a two wire operation. Now we'll reactivate with the Notifier BNG 1. All right, now we'll just hit system reset again. Okay, next up, we will activate the pulse station beside the enunciator, which is a notifier in BG12LX. We're gonna go ahead and do that right now. In three, two, one. Okay, here's our two wire selective silence on the L series one last time. And instead of resetting from the panel, we will reset from the enunciator. All right, and so for the supervisory part of the system test today, we are going to activate the duct detector, but we will be doing it with the test function on the key remote station this time. And so I'm going to be using this magnet. I'm just going to hold it up here to the detect to the key switch. It should take about 10 seconds and the system will activate and the key switch LED will light up steady red. Here we go. Three, two, one. Sorry, I had to do that quick because that bell is very loud. And also that piezo up there is also extremely loud. So that's why I had to do it real quick. But now we can just reset from the enunciator again. Attention to all building occupants. We have finished testing the life and safety system at this time. 
If you hear any audible or visual signals from this point forward, please obey them immediately. Again, we have finished testing the fire alarm system at this time. If you hear any audible or visual signals from this point forward, please obey them immediately. Thank you and I hope you all have a nice day. All right, everybody, this is going to conclude system test number six, series five. I hope you enjoyed it, featuring the L series and the Commander three. This setup was requested by Fire Beepers, so special shout out to him. And I am in the process of renovating the system test request form, but I will have it posted in the link below anyways, just in case you want to request a system test. And so, thank you all for watching this video. Be right, make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Have a nice day, and I will see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day, everybody.